Dear colleges, I'm Bang Chen Tang from the School of Archaeology and Museology of Sichuan University. I'm mainly engaged in the research of Chinese experimental archaeology and archaeological open-air museums. I'm also a member of EXARC. The topic of my report today is Digital Applications for Archaeological Open-Air Museums. I will introduce it from three aspects. Digital application of museums in China, challenges and opportunities brought by digitalization to archaeological open-air museums, and digital application of archaeological open-air museums. The digital application of Chinese museum in exhibitions can be really divided into three uh, categories: uh, same virtual reality, uh, video introduction, and uh, modal interaction. First, I'd like to introduce you the same virtual reality. This is a venue built by the Sichuan Museum using spare space. Certain are laid around the venue and used for the presentation of VR technology. Through VR technology, the saying of rings that Chinese tourists are interested in this is restaurant, and the virtual way is used to make them feel. Although the exhibition is paid for, uh, there are still many tourists and participation and experience their likes. In my opinion, the use of VR technology has reference significance for archaeological open-air museums with extra space or little space, because this is kind of operation has very low requirements for the space environment, uh, even if there is a wall. This is a case of a cultural relics present in the exhibition through VR technology. Archaeological sites are not uh, always accessible or visited by the interested public. The application of VR technology can show the audience the ex excavation process of different types of cultural relics in a more comprehensive way. For example, the picture on the left shows the discovery of bronze uh, trees from the San Xindui site. VR technology can also be used to create some archaeological games and add these games to the virtual exhibition to improve the audience's um, pleasure of waiting the exhibition. VR technology can also help um, museum uh, exhibitions present some displays that are not easy to achieve, such as the display of sacrificial scenes. Then, there is uh, the video introduction section. In the exhibition of Chinese museums, it is now common to use video combined with models or cultural relics to explain uh, archaeological content. The display with video introduction can enrich the knowledge that the museum wants to uh, convey to the public. Below the pictures on the left is the distribution model of Jinsa site. The, up, uh, the upper part shows the geographic uh, distribution characteristics of Jinsa site through video broadcasting. In the picture, on the right, the bottom shows the remains of horses discovered by archaeological uh, through models, while the top shows the technology of building houses in ancient China through video broadcasting. On the side of the video area, uh, there is a wood that may build uh, ancient houses, and in the air of the exhibition era, there are models of ancient houses made of plastic. This kind of exhibition idea is similar to the archaeological open-air museum, but it is deployed in the exhibition hall of the museum, not the archaeological open-air museum. Next is the model introduction section. Of the model on the left shows the prehistoric society in Chengdu, and the model uh, on the right shows the common houses in ancient Chengdu, China. 
touch screen devices uh, are in entailed around these models, which contains a lot of knowledge related to the exhibition so that the audience can click on them and uh, observe and feel the models. It can be said that a digitization is an open data and uh, a challenge for archaeological open-air museums. In terms of challenges, digitalization blurs the differences in exhibitions between archaeological open-air museums and no archaeological open-air museums. Many museums can use the digital um, technology, such as VR technology, to show what uh, archaeological open-air museums can present. With the use of digitalization, archaeological open-air museums will face challenges from related industries, such as other types of museums, same parks, and so on. However, digitalization is also an opportunity for archaeological open-air museums. If digitalization is used properly, archaeological open-air museums can be known by more people. There are examples of some of the same parks that have emerged in China in recent years. This is a same park of the Tang Dynasty city rebuilt according to the historical documents of the capital of the Tang Dynasty in China. The same park of the Tang Dynasty city has many re reconstruct, reconstruct uh, Tang Dynasty houses and uh, burgesses. The same park of Tang Dynasty city is full of vehicles from morning till night. This kind of same park is different from the archaeological open air museum invasion. Its, const its construction is not entirely based on archaeological knowledge or historical knowledge, but for vehicles interested in ancient uh, architecture and uh, technology. Same parks and archaeological open air museums are similar in the virtual mind. Also, same parks tend to be equipped with more interesting in entertainment uh, facilities and uh, shops, and the tourists may be more willing to visit and uh, consume in same parks. Moreover, same parks, if necessary, can also carry out living history shows or similar exhi exhibition in archaeological open air museums in their rest constraint uh, ancient environment. If the same park is combined with the use of digital devices, it will pose the challenge to the application of the archaeological open air museum. Based on the characteristics of archaeological open air museums, this research puts forward the digital application strategy of archaeological open air museums from three aspects of external public city, a display of reconstructed buildings, and a display of ancient technology. In terms of external public city and attraction vehicles, living history is digitalized, and several short videos are filmed through the historic interpretation of sector actors in the scope of the reconstructed buildings, which are placed on the official website of the museum or, and a various network platforms to uh, stimulate people's interest in visiting. In the accept of reconstruction buildings display, digital equipment uh, such as same virtual reality equipment is in in, is installed in the interval of the introduction inter construction building. The complete digital living history is important uh, into the equipment so that um, variables can have a more vivid experiment with uh, virtual reality when watching the risk constraint environment. At the same time, it can effectively reduce the museum's outlay on a tour guide or a living history actors in the off season. In the off season, a real a living history show is performed in a, a fixed place in the museum, or in the peak season, 
a real life history show is performed in the museum all the time, and the virtual and the convenient digital display is combined with real life history display. It gives visitors a unique experience of visiting the archaeological open air museum. In the aspect of ancient technology display, this digitalization plays a more seminal role in optimization. A technology, learning manuals or equipment introductions, which can effectively help the audience understand the rest construction teeth. Ancient technology based on experimental archaeology research, as well as the possible effects of each step of these ancient technologies. After digital learning, builders are likely to gain pleasure from the reality of digital knowledge from will self-learning in the process of exploring the operation of ancient technology and effectively improve the satisfaction of vehicles. The above are some thoughts and suggestions based on my observation and experiments uh, experience in the constructions of archaeological open air museums and doing experimental archaeology in China. I look forward to further communication with you. If you are interested in the experimental archaeology being carried out or in the or the experimental or the archaeological open air museum being a bird in China, please don't do not hesitate to contact me. For my contact information, please consult the XARC. Thanks.